So welcome back to this third and I guess last part of this video. So last time um, we finished all the code here, but we need to get back on the texture because it will we will get some error because a sprite is not quite a texture. So we need to create an extended function to be able to cast our texture to a sprite, but we will get there. And right now, as you can see, we uh, we done with the download asset bundle. So now we'll head back to Unity. And as you can see, we got some error here. So basically the error is because right now we're trying to use dynamic. So basically dynamic, again, uh, not again, but it's not working with uh, some, uh, some lower level with .NET. So we need to go on the player, uh, other setting, and the other setting, let's use not uh, .NET standard 2.1, but .NET framework. And this will be resolving our issue. So as you can see, after the recompiling, uh, we don't need, uh, our, we don't have any more error. So this warning is from other script. We don't care. And what we need to do, so because I don't need this script anymore because it was a simple way, I would just deactivate this. And let's create an empty game object. So the empty game object will be, will be download, so download uh, asset bundle uh, manager again, um, advanced way, Ad, uh, advanced, advanced way, okay? And we will be adding as a component, so download asset bundle, and it will ask me for an image and a source load. So something very easy, I will create a UI, an image, so right now I, I don't really care about the size, but again, let me just check something very easy. I think you know the drill. So scale with skin size, uh, uh, sorry, 920 by, uh, sorry, by 1080. Like this, the image, I will be something very, something very simple. So maybe, uh, I don't know, a thousand by a thousand like this. 1000 by 1000 and the display not free aspect but uh, 920 by 1080 something very very nice or maybe on the width uh, will maybe like this more beautiful so maybe 1500 so for the audio audio source something very easy so I will create uh, an empty game object so let's create uh, an audio uh, clip okay and what we need to do we just need to add audio sources so audio where is it where is it where is it uh, audio sources and we just uh let's rename it. it's not audio clip but audio sources and what we need to do we just need to drag and drop our game object here so like this so my audio sources here and my image right here okay so we can save this and now we uh, because uh, let's head back to our visual studio. So right now I'm trying, I think the first one is a cube. So I, I try to download a cube. So the first one, let's uh, make commentary. Uh, so this one should be a game object, I guess. This one should be a sprite. And the last one should be a Nojo clip. Okay, save this. Let's head back to Unity. And let's try to import some uh, asset bundle. So let's hit play. And as you can see, we just load the asset bundle is asset bundle cube and is retrieved as a game object. So it's, uh, sorry, it's behind the, the image. So if I just do this, you will see the cube. The cube is working. This is very nice. Okay. So the game object is working. So now let's comment uh, this one and uncomment the other. So this one should be a sprite, but again, um, before we do the sprite, let's do the audio sources because I told you with the sprite, we need to do something because they have some tricks. So we can save this one and let's try for the audio clip. Let's head back to Unity. Let's clear our console and let's hit play. And I think you will uh, 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 listen a good uh, song. So let's hit play. And as you can hear, we just, uh, so uh, by the way, I'm a huge fan of Katekyo Hitman Reborn, but we don't care about this one. And as you can hear, we just load our audio sources, 
from Asset Bundle. And right now, we just load our audio clip. And as you can see here, here will go all of this, uh, for, from all the switches and he selected the uh, play uh, import audio clip. So least but last but not least, I think this is the expression. So let's head back to Unity. Uh, sorry, let's head back to User Studio and let's in comment this one and let's come uh, and comment this one and comment the other one. And I think I'm pretty sure of it. We'll get some error with the sprite. So let's head back and let's try to apply some some sprite. So right now, as you can see, nothing happened. Why is nothing happened? Because right now, as you can see, the node type is screenshot and it's Unity Engine dot texture 2D. Because it's a texture 2D, it's not a sprite. Even if I cast it with um, uh, as a sprite, it's not working because we need to do some specification with this one. So what are we need to do? So le let's head back to Unity. We can close this. And in this project, uh, this is one way to uh, to use something. I always do that when, when I create a project. I create a util classes. So create a C -sharp script and let's name it utils. So basically the util classes will be all the stuff you can uh, you can have a, you can use as name it very util. So we can uh, open it in Visual Studio. And what we need to do in the util class, because it's a util class, we don't need the mono behavior. We don't need the start and update function because um, we, need to, we need to use this class as a static. So basically the static class will be able to call where, whenever, whenever and whatever you want. And um, this classes will be able to create. You will be able to create some uh, extension method. So basically, an extension method is to not override but customize some function is uh, who are already existing. So um, what I will um, create. So it's a public. So public static function. So static function uh, sprite. And I will uh, customize some. Uh, some function so convert I uh, will call it convert texture uh, 2d to sprite and it will take in parameter the this is very important because the this word will be uh, will allow me to uh, categorize our function as um, extension uh, method so it will take in parameter so a texture 2d so texture 2D name it name maybe texture uh, texture 2D something very easy and uh, this one will be returning so basically because we take in, it will uh, return a sprite so we'll make return and what we want to return so a sprite create uh, sorry sprite dot create and we want to create a sprite from our texture we just um, we just loaded so we'll take in parameter a texture 2D. So again, uh, a new uh, rect. Uh, so I think the parameter here will be, uh, where is the f what is the four parameter? I don't know. So a float X, float Y. So we don't need uh, this. So zero, zero. The width, something very easy. So it will be the texture 2D dot uh, width. And the height will be a texture 2D dot height. And after this, the texture will take a vector 2 dot pivot. So something very easy. The pivot will be the center. So vector 3, vector 2 dot 0. And this is how we can make an extension method. And this is very nice because I want to call this function something very easy. I will just copy paste this. Let's head back to uh, download, um, download asset bundles. And... Um, Let's call our function instead of asset bundle as a sprite. So to be able to call this function, what I will need to do, I just need to replace this. So uh, let me do that. So I will make utils because it's a static classes. I can call it uh, whatever, um, whenever I want. So utils dot. So as you can see, it will uh, ask me to 
uh, it will um, find my function I wanted. So convert uh, convert texture 2D to sprite, and this one will take in parameter a texture 2D. Very very nice because uh, the asset asset downloaded is uh, in this case uh, a texture 2D. But to make sure it's working, so as a sprite, I will not put as a sprite, but as a texture 2D. Like this. Okay, we can save this. And again, here, as you can see, apply imported sprite from asset bundle, take a sprite. But because this function will be called, so this function will be called, again, I sum up something, we call this function, and because we call this function, this will create a sprite, and this sprite will be replacing our texture, and uh, this one will create a texture. So now we can save this and uh, we'll make a test with the sprite. So we'll head back to Unity. And now what we want to do, we just want to play. And you will see the image we downloaded. So basically it's very nice because it's my YouTube page. So, but you can apply whatever image you want. But feel free to use mine, don't worry, it will be very nice. And as you can see on the image, we don't have source image because it's an asset bundle and it's um, not um, not taking place on your device. So that's it guys for the advanced method of the asset bundle. Hope you learned something. Do not hesitate to ask me some questions because I know this tree part was very, very dense, maybe for some people. Don't worry, ask me some questions. I will be very glad to answer it. So I hope you learned something and I catch you guys next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. So. If content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else, user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you and I catch you guys next time.